All right, hey guys, it's me, MT327, and I'm back for another mod showcase. Now, today we are showing the more Too Much TNT mod. And this adds in 35 new TNTs, including this one, which I couldn't fit in. So, and about 16 dynamites. So, this is the ultimate lag mod. Cal, how you doing? How you doing, Cal? Cal. Cal, are you ready? Are you ready for what is about to happen to you? Okay, good. Okay, you just stand right there. Alright, so this mod adds in 35 new TNTs and 16 dynamite. And so each TNT has different effect, obviously. And so here's just a normal piece of TNT to give you a comparison. Alright, Cal, ready? Poor cow. So as you can see, there, that's a piece of TNT, a normal piece of TNT. Not too big. And now here is TNT times 5, which is up, which you should no be able to tell, is 5 times the size of a normal piece of TNT. And there it is. And there is a cave. Has that been? Yeah, that's been there. Lava. So yeah, that's the explosion of a 5 times TNT, as you can see, 5 times bigger, kinda. So next we've got the TNT times 20, and which is obviously 20 times the size of a little piece of TNT. Some of these actually take a while. There you go, 20 TNT. And, yeah, that's big. Alright, cows, I'm sorry for what is about to happen to your land. And this is the TNT times 100. This thing is big. And trust me when I say big. Wait for it. Holy crap. Oh, crap. Oh, there we go. So, there we go. 100 times the size of a normal piece of TNT. Now, I'm actually worried about this one. TNT times 500. Because, it, as you could see, my computer didn't do well with the 100 times TNT, so... Hopefully 500 will work fine. Oh, uh, sorry, horses. So, there's 500 TNT. Black. Because, you know. TNT. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Just hide safely behind this tree. Oh! It blew up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> oh crap! Oh! Oh, that, that wasn't so bad. Now let's look at what happened. So as you can see, 500 pieces of TNT. Oh my gosh. Oh, the horses survived. Irma Gerd. Whoa. That's that's big. So next we've got the Meteor TNT. Which you know will meteor the place. So let's find a good place. That's not obliterated. Oh right, crafting recipes. So the crafting re so the crafting recipe for the TNT times 5 is 4 pieces of TNT. There should be a 5th one. <laughs> the crafting recipe for the 20 is 4 of the TNT X5s. The 100, 4 20s. The 500, 4, four 100s. And next is the Meteor TNT, which is Obsidian. A bucket of lava, 
and the TNT 500. So let's let's get get distance away from this. As you can see, here comes a meteor. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't crash! If this crashes, I'm gonna freaking... Oh my god! Oh, this is the ultimate lagatron. Oh! Oh my gosh! I don't know anymore. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Um yeah, this is quite the predicament. Oh, okay, there we go. That works too. Oh, crap. that launched me back a while, a few. So now let's look at the damage. Loading chunks. And as you can see, we've got this huge friggin' crater. Because, you know, as if a meteor won't cause a crater. And what is that? That's gold. So let's see. Let's see what we can find. Right. There is this ore called sulfur ore. And basically, it drops five pieces of gunpowder when you mine it. So that wouldn't be too hard to, um, you know make all this TNT and it is as rare as gold so yeah that's that's the sulfur ore let's see if we can find anything interesting around here uh, there's light over here why is there light over here I don't know um, let's see it uh, I think really okay Oh, there's a zombie. And now, uh, next we've got the compact TNT, which is eight pieces of TNT around a TNT X5. And a compact, compact, I don't know. Let, let's put you here. Next to all these mobs. So what that's going to do is it's going to blow up and ignite several more t pieces of TNT. And so, yeah. No. Yeah. No! Yeah! Oh, we've, we've hit lava. That's, that's nice. And next we've got the house TNT. Now, this is one of the three creation TNTs. What is that? It's a zombie. No, that's a skeleton. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna build a house. Really? Seriously? Oh my gosh. Pushy. It should build a house. There we go. And inside said house, you can find crafting bench and a few torches. She made out of cobblestone, so that's nice. Oh, con right, the, it is crafted with two pieces of glass, a crafting bench, and five pieces of cobblestone, and you've got a house TNT. And there you go, house TNT. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can now move on to the next TNT, next few pieces of TNT. So, aside from that cobble house, we now have the wood house. The second of the creation trio, lol Pokemon, lol. Now this wood house is t crafted with two gold ingots and 
a house TNT, and six wooden planks of any kind, obviously. And inside you will find a bed, which something went wrong there. A furnace and a crafting bench. And obviously it's made out of wood. Next we've got the brick house TNT, the final of the three. Which is the best. Obviously it's made out of brick. And burnable. And we've got a nice little wool carpeting here, and the bed which had an accident, and a chest. A chest has been added. No. Please. So that is the final. That, so that is the creation trio of all Pokemon. So, and the brick house is crafted with diamonds. House TNT and bricks. Get the brick house. Next, we've got the fire TNT, which crafted, which is crafted by TNT X5 and a flint and steel. Y'all, yeah, man. And it does what you think it would do. It sets the whole place on fire. You go lucky water. Loser. <laughs> and then we've got the snow TNT, which does the same thing as fire TNT except th with snow. And it is crafted by snow with 5x TNT. And it sets every and it puts everything into snow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's oh. Oh, and next we've got the ocean TNT, and that is crafted with four buckets of water surrounding a TNT X100. And the TNT X100 will tell you a little bit about its blast radius, explosion radius, whatever you want to call it. And it is giant. So now let's blow that up. Because there's snow over there. And now, coming with free squids. Next, we, we're we going to put the, vapor, the vaporized TNT next. So, this vaporized TNT is crafted with TNT X20 with buckets. Buckets around it. And so, let's put that there. And let's see how... And what it will do is it will get rid of water in, in the area. Take that ocean. I now have... So, it, yeah. It's good for traveling across oceans now. Because, you know. No more endless swimming. Die squids. So next we've got Hellfire TNT, which will basically make the place like the nether. Nice fire effect. As you can tell, there are ghasts. And there's like friggin' flames everywhere. And nether rack. And lava. And that is simply crafted with Two TNT X20, a fire TNT, and two gas tiers. So yeah, you still need to go to the nether to get the nether in the overworld. Nether in the overworld. Burn. That's gonna burn down the place. And next we've got the nuclear TNT, which is just a nuclear bomb. That'll be fun. Just wait a while. So, as you can see, there is an explosion and there is green stuff everywhere. No, they are not boogers. It is nuclear waste. And if an entity 
if a player touches them or animal as that pig is demonstrating it will get hurt and then die and drop their stuff unless you know keep inventory is on so that is the TNT that is some of the TNT more of the TNT so Next, got these. We've got the digging TNT, which is going to drill it one hole into the ground, all the way down to bedrock. So, uh, so if you want to fall to your death, you can just go all the way down there. Next, we've got drilling TNT. I don't think that was bedrock. Which is just like the digging TNT, only thing is, it's giant. Oh, right, I forgot to show you the nuclear TNT. So, drilling TNT down there. As you can see, all the way down to bedrock and squids. Squids have now invaded the area. Run for your lives. The nuclear TNT is simply crafted with glowstone dust. More glowstone. A black of gold. And four TNT X20. And lava is coming down. And digging TNT is crafted with two TNT X5s and a water bucket. Drilling TNT is digging TNT and TNT X100. So, yeah. They look the same, except one's orange and the other is red. Next, we've got Ghost TNT. And what this will do is basically it's a ghost and it will go into the ground and blow up under there. Let's dig downwards to find it. Breaking the first rule of Minecraft. So as you can see, this is the explosion it creates. Yeah. And that is crafted with TNT X20 and milk. So next we've got the multiply TNT. So what this poor pig. So what this TNT will do is it it will multiply any blocks it blows up. Well not exactly any blocks, but most of the blocks it blows up. It will it will not work with diamonds. Calm calm yourselves, little cheaters. And there's Yeah, some of these things are glitchy. And as you can see it and it will multiply and right and already I have two stacks of dirt. So yeah, for just this small amount, it'll like increase it by so much. And it is crafted with bone meal, gold ingots, and TNT X5. Next, we've got the cubic TNT, which is crafted with TNT X5, and cobblestone. And what the cubic TNT will do is it'll craft a, it was it will blow up a little small square. So let's put that here. So yeah, there, there you go, cubic TNT. I don't see how it would be useful, but eh, it's there. Next, we've got the erupting TNT, and what this and it is crafted through fire charge and compact TNT. And what this will do is it's gonna shoot up TNT. And it's going to come all down. So yeah, that's the erupting TNT. And that's what it does. Next, we've got the chemical TNT. 
which will just like blow up several times. Like that. So you've got a little miniature version of the drilling TNT. And he's crafted like so. Redstone, gunpowder, water bucket, and TNT X100. Next we've got the floating TNT. And what this will do is it'll float up into the air and explode. So let's place this here. Bam! Explosion. Yeah. And he's crafted with a feather in TNT X20. So, now I've got those TNTs done. Okay, I can just do this. Okay. These. So first up, we've got Freeze TNT, and it'll do exactly what you think it does. It'll freeze everything. So bam! So now you've got a little nice frozen tree. Yeah. Next, we've got the timer TNT. Oh my gosh, that looks good. It reminds me of stuff. And it's a timer. Green means you still have time to run. And then yellow means you better hurry up. And then red means get the frick away, it's gonna blow. Wait, did I show you the floating TNT? Uh, yeah. It's a nuclear TNT I didn't show you. And so a nuclear TNT is... Oh, no, I did show you. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. It's Monday. No one likes Mondays. Here's what I think of Monday. So next we've got the reaction TNT. And... I forget what this does. Oh, right, the timer TNT. No, free TNT is crashed with snowball, and water bucket, and TNT X20. And timer TNT is crafted with redstone and TNT X5. And so next we've got the reaction TNT. And is crafted with compact TNT and chemical TNT. And it'll blow up stuff everywhere. And it makes this giant crater. Smart skeleton. So yeah, that's the reaction TNT. Yeah. It didn't blow up any of the ice. Next we've got the float the animal TNT. Don't know why it's called the am animal if it spawns in everything. And it is crafted with raw pork, raw chicken, raw flesh, raw beef, and TNT. And basically what it will do is it will spawn every mob in. So yeah, if you're one of those hardcore PvPers, this is for you. Because uh, you've got witches. I'm gonna light on fire. Wolves, chickens, spiders, magma creams, cave spiders, blazes, slimes. And yeah. Got a mushroom too. Skellies and creepers, so yeah. Next we've got the floating island TNT. And what this will do is it'll copy the ground and put it up in a floating island. So let's take this ice realm and put it up there. No, again, cheaters, you cannot copy diamond blocks. It's 
bots are there. The heck? What? What? Huh? Huh? What? I don't... I don't know anymore. It, it just screw it, screw it, forget it, but... And floating island TNT is crafted with floating TNT and two multiply TNT. Next we've got the TNT fireworks. Actually, no, I'll show you the sand fireworks first. And it'll go up into the air and friggin' launch sand everywhere. There's an, occasionally there will be those like well, few blocks that'll still come down. So next, we've got TNT fireworks, and it'll do the exact same thing as the sand fireworks, just with TNT. What? Oh, crap! <laughs> and there goes my flint and steel. Zombie. Die. Did... Okay, that zombie was hurt from explosion damage before. So, that is the exp the fire with TNT. In those two... I keep forgetting on the search. And firework TNT is created with firework star. Compact TNT. And TNT X5. Sand fireworks, same thing, except with sand, rather than compact TNT. See, there will be those one or two... <laughs> Screw it. Next, we've got the gravity TNT, and if I find a few mobs... Maybe I'll need to blow up that animal TNT again. Yeah, I'm gonna blow up the animal TNT again. Nick, and then next is gravity TNT and it's crafted with an apple for some reason and an ender bomb and I'll show you the ender bomb in a while. So gravity TNT. What this will do is it'll pull in every single mob near it. So as you can see, just there, there's everything and it'll blow them up sky high and then they'll fall to their doom and somehow the ocelots did not die. Did any of them manage to land up there? Of course, the blaze is still floating down. I swear, there was a chicken. Where'd the chicken go? I swear, a chicken was falling. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, well. Next set. Hey, hey. No attacking the villager. I screw you two. The, the cave ain't gonna save you now. And so we've got the last 14 T's, which is the flat bomb. And it'll flatten out stuff. I told you. It'll flatten out stuff. It's like flatten it out. So you got a nice little flat area. And it is crafted with obsidian and TNT X20. And then we've got the mining flat bomb, which is crafted with flat bomb, TNT X2, TNT X5s, and six torches. 
No, let's put it somewhere else. Let's put it in this cave. And as you can see, you got a nice little mining area to work with. Hey, look, the sulfur. And it sets up torches. So in case if you ever want an underground home. Yeah, this this one's good. This is good. And then we've got the Ender Bomb. Which will friggin' blow you millions of feet away. What? That not that didn't work. Come on. Let's try this again. Right here. So yeah, Ender Bomb. Doesn't teleport you just blows you sky high to your doom. So yeah, you better friggin' run. And then we've got the custom TNT, which you can do anything with it in the config file. Like, set how big it will be. I didn't do anything with it, I just left it. Because I didn't understand anything. So it's like, how big the explosion will be. Well, I did understand a few things, I just didn't feel like changing it. I wonder, does it have any default settings? Okay, so it blows up blocks and it lights things on fire. That is the default setting. That is the default setting of this custom TNT. So yeah guys, that was the m too much TNT mod. And the, the ultimate lag tron, the, the ultimate lag mod with the with its um uh, with its TNT multiplication stuff. Mm. Five hundred TNT and meteor TNT. See, unless if you have a good computer, this thing isn't go is going to blow it up. So yeah, guys, link to the mod download will be down in the description. And, yeah. Get my 20 good people. Mushroom. 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 Calm down. There. You're calm. Hey, goodbye. Alright, you guys, I'm back. Uh, I had completely forgotten to show you the dynamite. I just thought of that as I was editing the video together. So, basically, we've got the normal dynamite, which is just, you know, TNT. And so, to craft all the dynamites, you just put whatever TNT it is, into the crafting bench, and you got dynamite. Now, there's only 16 out of the 35 dynamite. So, but he's going to be adding more. So, this is the normal TNT. I threw two of them. TNT. There it is. You right-click to throw, obviously. It's because I'm not hitting. Now, this is the dynamite X5. Bigger and better. Dynamite X20. Dynamite X100. Now, these dynamites are weaker than the normal dynamite because, you know, it, not dynamite, TNT. So, next we've got Dynamite X500. Right into the middle. And, okay, and now the Meteor Dynamite, again the Meteor comes down, and again my Minecraft does that. So once again, we've got a crater, just not as big, because you know it's dynamite. Hey, a dungeon! I blew it up. All that remains: string, wheat, and two, and two um, discs.
You're in a cave. Look at that. A cave. And now we've got the flat dynamite. So let's throw that there. And flatten. Bam. 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 And then we've got the mining flat dynamite. Let's go underground into the meteor crater we made. Oh my gosh, that mountain. That mountain's obliterated. Not good enough. Alright, here we go. There. Go so base of operations. Next, we've got the compact dynamite. Bam, right into the middle. So, of course, we've got TNT. I stood my ground. So, that's those dynamites. Next, we've got the fire dynamite. And we'll throw that there. And then the snow dynamite. Right to the middle. Sort back to its glory. Nothing happened. You saw nothing? You saw nothing. And then we've got the ocean dynamite. And we've got a little ocean. Including squids. And then vaporized dynamite. Get out. You don't belong here. You don't serve your kind. Source block. Don't be that way. Squids are gone. And next we've got the ender dynamite. Alright. See, not as far. And then we've got the chemical dynamite. Let's go over back to our meteor dynamite. Hoo -ah! That was a nice throw. Oh my god! Bad rock! Blood rock, yo! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna crash my Minecraft. Look at that, we've got sulfur. Oh my god! I'm... I'm crashing it. I'm crashing. Oh, the Hellfire Dynamite, right. There. Vaporized dynamite everywhere! Oh my gosh, I'm crashing this. As you can see, the vaporized dynamite also gets rid of lava. If dynamite can do it, then the TNT will do it. Don't serve your kind. Get it out. So yeah, that was the dynamite and uh and creeper. Any last words? Any last words, creeper? Don't look at me that way. That's what happens when you look at me that way. So yeah. Of course, link to the description, link to the download will be in the description, of course. Like every other mod showcase I've done in mad playthrough I've done, it will be down in the description. Okay, now, hey, goodbye.